Speeding fines come in many shapes and sizes, but the most common one, and the one that many people have experience of, is a pink slip handed to you by a police officer when you've been pulled over for speeding. It normally gives you 28 days to pay the, the fine of £60 and to accept the three penalty point endorsement. The police have a limited range of uh, when they can issue such uh, uh, penalties, uh, and um, that varies uh, across the country and it varies from time to time, but uh, largely there's, there's a discretion there on, on the part of the police about what they can do and when they can issue a fixed penalty notice. They clearly can't issue a fixed penalty notice if you already have nine points on your licence. So usually by the time they've stopped you, they've checked the registration number of your vehicle, they've uh, run that past a DVLA computer to see if you have insurance, and they've checked to see how many points you have on your licence. So if you've got nine, they'll tell you they can't issue a fixed penalty and the matter will be reported to the Procurator Fiscal. The Procurator Fiscal will send out a copy complaint charging you with the offence in due course. Now, what do you do with a fixed penalty notice when you receive it? Do you immediately pay that or do you take further advice? Being a solicitor, I, I think you might expect my advice to be always phone a lawyer. It's not going to cost you anything generally to take some advice on it. It's for you to weigh up the costs against the benefits of actually fighting the case. But it may well be that if uh, you have no points on your licence, then there's very little point in actually throwing thousands of pounds at defending such a case. But take some legal advice on it and find out if there are any legal issues uh, that attach to your case. The other type of fixed penalty that's sometimes issued is um, a Procurator Fiscal's letter that comes out offering you a further fixed penalty notice. So the police may have issued you one, or perhaps not, but you may well also receive a letter from the Procurator Fiscal offering you a fixed penalty. The importance of these is that if uh, you have an occupation um, that depends upon having no convictions libelled against you, for instance if you're a doctor or dentist, a professional of some kind, if you travel um, internationally, particularly to America, where they seem to have some sort of difficulty with visas when they look at these things and can't quite understand why you've been convicted of uh, this offence, um, if there are circumstances and repercussions from um, taking a case to trial, you might want to bear in mind that a fixed penalty notice is exactly that. It's just a notice and an agreement that you will pay this penalty rather than it proceeding to trial. So it can avoid a conviction. So if you go to trial and you're convicted or you ignore the letter and you wait until you receive a copy complaint and you plead guilty at court, you are then convicted and you're convicted of a criminal offence. So that tends to come as a surprise to some people that speeding is regarded as a criminal offence, as is careless driving and the like. So bear that in mind, and bear that in mind when you're weighing up the costs against the benefits of dealing with a fixed penalty notice. Very often it's worthwhile uh, paying them in the first instance and dealing with them, getting them out of the way. But what I would always say is seek the advice of a solicitor. It's usually free. If you contact us, we'll give you some free advice. Or if you go online to our website, Equally, you can uh, complete a form and we'll give you some free information and advice there.